Hello, my very most beautiful Aquarius. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your March monthly reading. This is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So guys, if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open and everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. I know the sunlight is coming in. It's a little, the lighting's a little bit wonky, but I was kind of enjoying the natural light. I didn't want to block it out. So hopefully it's not too distracting. We're just going to go with it. So Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my most beautiful Aquarius, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Aquarius's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. I know you guys can't see the cards that are placed up here. I will hold them up for you as we go over them, as we go through this. So no worries. All right, we got the hangman in the reverse. Oh, the why? Got the hangman in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so an energy of releasing. That's your overall energy. Okay, whether it's a person or whether it's a situation, some resentments, we'll have to take a look in further at that. But um, for what your thoughts, so for what's going on in your headspace, we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, another card of releasing, and the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So there could be some emotions, heavy emotions, um, that you've been holding on to with that Eight of Cups in the reverse. Okay, you're still very emotionally involved in a situation. So we're going to need to take a further look as we go. But so to me... This could either be saying that there's a connection that you're still very emotionally connected to. You still have a lot of emotion, a lot of love for the person, but you're choosing to release this, okay? Thinking that that's what's better, thinking it's not, you know, serving you to hold on to it any longer. Others of you, there could be resentments or, you know, heavy emotions within the connection um, that aren't serving you in the connection any longer, and you recognize that maybe it's time to release that. So, like, if there's something happened between the two of you and you've been harboring resentments or anger or unforgiveness, you guys could be choosing to release that at this time. So just take it how it resonates for you. Some of you, it could very well be both. For your heart space, we have the sun in the reverse and the four of cups in the reverse. <sighs> Recognizing... I do feel like a lot of you guys are taking a look at some, for either way, whether you're releasing a person or we're just releasing emotions, I feel like it's because you've really gotten to the root of the problem with the four of cups in the reverse. To me, that is talking about really being open, having an openness. He is sitting at the base of the tree, which can talk about, you know, getting down to the root of it. So I do feel like there's some things that you recognize um, where holding on to these emotions, this anger, this unforgiveness, um, some of you guys maybe even like feelings of hate or whatever it is, um, where that's not serving you, where that's only hurting you. And some of you guys are really seeing like the very root of it. Some of you guys could be seeing the very root of issues of why the other person is the way that they are. Maybe they have trauma responses or something of that nature. It doesn't mean that you have to co tolerate that behavior, but I feel like it's giving you a deeper understanding of where it's rooted in. Um, and But you are unhappy. Okay, there's a lot of unhappiness here, and I feel like that's what's causing you, triggering you to take a deeper look at stuff, okay, with that sun in the reverse showing up in your heart space. For your true intentions, we have the nine of swords in the reverse and the six of pentacles. Nine of swords in the reverse, another card of releasing. There's definitely a major releasing going on here for you. You have multiple cards of it, and you have two fours here as well, which tells me that there's something about, you know, the very foundations, the very base and core of things that are being shifted and released, okay? Um really i do feel like some of you guys are choosing to release a person as well choosing to no longer give to something seeing how much you've given to a situation seeing how much effort energy and attention you've given and recognizing that it hasn't been of you know it hasn't been mutual you recognizing that you haven't gotten back what you've given in okay and that it maybe it hasn't been worth the cost with that energy we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse and the Seven of Wands. So to me, this can be, you know, as unsatisfied as you are, as unhappy as you are, Ten of Cups, or you got the Sun in the reverse and you have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. There's a lot of unhappiness here. Um, this is not what you wanted. This is not how you wanted this to go. This is not... You know, this is not what you wanted. That being said, I do feel like a lot of you guys are choosing to block this out. You could be blocking out a person. 
okay? Or, you know, just trying to push them out of your energy. This can also be a card of conviction. It's just knowing that you know. So some of you guys, it's just you know that you know that it's time. It's time for this release to happen, whether that's the emotions that you've been holding on to, whether it's the person itself, whether it's the connection, okay? Uh, so we're going to take a deeper look at things, but we are going to grab um, some cards for the person that you're dealing with and take a look and see what their energy is towards you for the month of March. So major major shifts in your in your core in your foundation major shifts in um, you know your emotional state because I feel like you guys are making major release major releases throughout the month of March like a, it's almost like a very big purge is what this feels like to me. All right, let's take a look and see what their energy is towards you. So they have the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. For their thoughts, they have the Four of Swords and the King of Swords. So I'm getting a couple different messages. Now, they're unhappy as well. They have the, they have the Sun in the reverse as well. Seven of Swords. So I'm getting a few different things. So you guys just take the messages that apply for you and the ones that don't leave for somebody else. To me, this could be either this person um, is really thinking about how you've pulled back your energy, how there's no communication between the two of you. They could be seeing you as somebody who is, um, you know, being very cold and very detached. But I feel like you're doing that. If that is your you're doing, if you're the one that's stopping the communication, blocking them out, um, you know, it very well could just be because you're doing what you feel like is best for you, okay? And um, this is something that has definitely been boiling up to where, you know, it's just time. You you, you recognize that it's just time for you. Um, so they could be seeing you that way. Other if For others of you, if they're the ones that have stopped communication, you know, that's definitely on their mind. They recognize that they're being cold and detached for a reason, okay? Um, it feels almost a little bit, I don't say manipulative, but a little bit. Like for that, for you, it would be because you have, um, you're doing it because you feel like that's what's best for you because you need to, you know, remove that person for your energy. For them, it's to get a reaction. So totally, it's the same thing, but for a totally different reason, totally different intentions behind it, especially with the Seven of Swords being here, okay? Um, to me, that's a very, that combination is trying to get what they want, okay? Now, for their heart space, they have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse and the Empress in the reverse. So I do feel like they feel like you've made your decision. They could feel like um, they could feel like you're just not. I feel like they don't believe you. Whatever. I don't. It doesn't make sense to me. But it feels like they don't believe you. Okay. With the Seven of Swords, the Empress in the reverse, Two of Pentacles. So the decision that you've made to cut this person out or the decision that you've made to walk away from them it's like they don't believe the reason that you gave them okay they're like no well there must be something else it seems like this person is incapable of taking responsibility okay so because of that they're like oh, it must be something else they're just not as attracted to me anymore they're not as into me anymore um you know they're being dishonest with me about the reason i don't think that that's the case i feel like this person just is incapable of taking responsibility for um you know the real reasons why the Six of Swords in the reverse and the High Priestess in the reverse lets me know that it is definitely coming to their awareness that they're not moving past this anytime soon. Okay? They have not moved on from this, even if they're acting like it. For some of you guys, I feel like they are putting on a big show that they, like, this detached energy, this cold detached energy, like, they don't care. That's not the case. Okay? That's absolutely not the case. Um... They're trying to flip the situation is what it feels like to me, as well as with the Six of Swords in the Reverse, High Priestess in the Reverse energy. Um, there you go. It does feel to me that, uh, especially because both of these have their back turned on this side of it as well. They feel like you're turning um, your back to them, and they have not moved past it. I feel like they're trying to act like they don't care. They're trying to put on this whole like facade, but that's just not true. It's coming into their awareness. It's becoming very clear to them. Um that they're not going to be able to just get over this. They're not going to be able to just move past it. And that's why I feel like that little bit of a manipulative energy comes in at. And they're trying to get the reaction from you that they want from you. Now, you can see that again down here. They have the Five of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. They're not, they're, they're putting together a plan here. And the Five of Swords is an energy of getting what they want by any means necessary. So I felt that, manip that manipulative reason or energy for a reason. And it, it's just playing out in their whole energy. Okay, so I would be very cautious with this person because they're starting to come to the awareness that 
you know, you mean at this time that they've lost you and they're not handling it well. They, they will do or say whatever they need to here. So I would be very cautious with this energy, okay? Um, this is definitely them coming up with a plan and being willing to go whatever they, to do whatever they need to, okay? So that is kind of what I'm seeing here. They will definitely be trying to flip this energy on you too. Um, so don't take stuff on that you know just isn't you, okay? Because it's just them trying to get their way here. But that is what I'm seeing for you guys for the month of March. If this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you guys are going to need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light. Until next time.